It's a great pleasure to welcome Jan Bauer, who is the Chief of Digital Platform Solutions at BCX. And of course, uh, you don't want to miss the cloud conference that's happening on the 8th of June. And uh, Jan is going to be one of our big sponsors there, BCX, of course, uh, joining us. And it's great to have you on board, Jan, as a sponsor. And uh, welcome. I mean, BCX has had a very, very busy last uh, few uh, months uh, when it comes to the cloud space. And uh, one of your numerous cloud offerings is uh, managed cloud. And uh, it, it's been great for you guys at BCX. What are the benefits of managed cloud solutions and uh, when are they most suitable? Hi, hey, Aki, thanks for the time. Yes, uh, great to be here. Um, as you said, yeah, we've been quite busy. I think we're pivoting the business. Um, so we, we're actually becoming a true cloud provider. And I'd say the main benefit of managed cloud services, it's in order to provide a flexible and scalable solution to our clients that want to benefit from, from cloud computing. Um, we need to actually minimize the complexity of this new cloud environment and the, the overhead. Um, and, and this service actually refers to the outsourcing of the management of a cloud infrastructure to a third party like the likes of BCX um, and then allows them the customers to actually to focus on their core business, their core activities to support their legacy environment. So this service can include you know, the proper infrastructure management within cloud, uh, security management, database management, your application management, disaster recovery, high availability, you know, backup management, all of that. So in essence, um, managed service should actually allow the clients to, to reduce the overall cost, um, improve security, because that's quite important within the cloud environment, and then to increase efficiency. So how do they ensure that can, they can scale easily, uh, more predictability around um, uh, cost uh, to how to ever in, ensure that they can lower the cost, uh, less downtime, um, increase productivity. How do they leverage actually all the unique technologies provided within the cloud environment mm. and optimize it for themselves? And then have access to expert knowledge because uh, the cloud is new. There are various hyper cloud and private cloud um, environments. Mm. And, and lots of a BCX does have access to, to those experts that can actually work with our clients to make it happen. Oh, that's fantastic. And of course, um, you know, you've got such a wide range of products, as you mentioned, uh, which, is, which is amazing. Um, and, and BCX certainly prides itself on offering those wide range of cloud-based solutions, as you touched on, you know, from uh, the public cloud, for example, on a single hyperscaler platform, uh, you've got hybrid multi-cloud models, and you've got private cloud implementations as well. And you also, have, uh, you, 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 as a cloud service provider, I mean, this obviously helps you serve the specific needs of each client, because we know when it comes to cloud, every single client is unique, right? Yeah, definitely. So I think uh, we've invested a lot in the last year to actually to give us that ability to provide um, services and, and service-specific unique needs of our clients um, in order to provide them with a customized solution uh, for their unique requirements. So as you said, they've got different needs and preferences. Uh, when it comes to cloud infrastructure, they're in different stages of their maturity to move to the cloud. And we believe we've got a range of options available to 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 uh, to serve a need on the public sec on the public cloud side we offer alibaba cloud uh, we can offer azure we made a big investment in in a company called dot com that actually can provide from from cloud advisory to to cloud solutions to manage services and then also aws so that's all on the on the hyperscaler public cloud side then on the on the private cloud side we've got our own bcx one cloud that's been quite successful and then we we heavily investing in in a local public cloud called Abzara Stack that's based on Alibaba that will go into our local data centers and and into a third party data center and that will provide local public cloud services to our clients from September onwards. So as you know, some clients may prefer public cloud option, um, and others would be um, decide to to go specific on a single hyperscaler. Others want to have a hybrid environment. Uh, they want to, 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 to share or spread the risk across the hyperscalers. And then you also need to look at specifically at the industries, um, public sector, financial services, 
with focus of in country to keep the data regulatory, we need to keep the data in country, uh, we've got poppy requirements and so on. And then there is some stuff that you will get in, you know, some of the, the compute and some of the, the platforms and, the, and like the da big data platforms you will find in, in your public cloud environment that we can actually mm -hmm. make available. So with BCX, we then help our clients to actually define what's the best solution to fit their business needs, their budget, and the infrastructure requirements. And we've got been requirements or we've got expertise in, in actually to provide um, advice over all these cloud platforms. Um, so when a, when a customer wants to move onto the cloud, we can actually give them that agnostic advice before they decide on, on, on actually the final end state of a cloud infrastructure. Wow, so you get the full bouquet of products uh, available for your clients. Now, one of the uh, considerations that, uh, that 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 many companies uh, are looking at is, uh, you know, the, the, you obviously got these big cloud transformation projects, and they, you know, there's a concern about capex, etc. It's always got to do with budgets, right? Um, how, how do cloud providers like BCX solve this particular problem and those kind of concerns that clients have? Yeah, you know, Aki, I think it's always it's a fight for, for that limited capex that's available and, and we can help our clients to reduce that capex requirement um, to move from, you know, when they move from traditional on-premise server-based solutions um, that often when they need to refresh require like new equipment, new licensing, uh, the movement applications um, to, to actually to be bought up front. So as cloud providers, we can help our clients to, to avoid this high capital outlay um, with, you know, that's associated with this big digital transformation or, or recapitalization projects by offering this pay-as-you-go service. Now, it should not be a pure lift and shift because you can actually get bitten because of that um, if you don't optimize the environment. Um, but, you know, we, we, we've got the ability to assist the clients to, to scale the resources, implement proper managed services, um, and uh, advise them on, on hybrid cloud solutions. Mm. So this, this should allow the client to only pay for those resources that they do consume and to adjust their spending pat patterns accordingly and to, to ensure that they, they can budget also the budgets that they've actually done and the associated spending is actually in line. So yeah, we um, and at the same time they can install while they still have a, a legacy environment, they can ensure that they can sweat that assets while they actually start moving into the cloud yeah. environment. Well, I'm sure that you've got uh, many prospective clients that are coming to you. They want to move uh, onto the cloud and and um, or they want to increase their presence in the cloud. But most of them, I guess, are you know exploring the cloud for the first time. And they're not sure where to begin. I mean, and of course, that's always the big challenge. You know, where do you start with your journey to the cloud? Now, for these kinds of organizations that I'm talking about, what steps do you take them through to determine how BCX can provide with the best possible solutions for their needs and help them on this journey to the cloud? Yeah. Okay, that's, that's a great question. So we, we in BCX, we've got a cloud agnostic advisory capability where we actually because of the fact that we serve all these hyperscalers and 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 the, and the private clouds as well so we can actually from an agnostic point of view sit down with our clients understand exactly where they are in the in the digital journey and also in the cloud journey um, determine the, the, the maturity index at that point in time uh, so go through a discovery process with them and then um, as we, we then define the roadmap to the cloud, um, we assess then, okay, what's exactly the needs? Do they need to, is it, is it uh, what can we do to lift and shift? What do we need to refactor? Um, what's the, the cloud native development that we need to happen? Where are they going from an uh, overall application refresh in future? What's the current um, enterprise application uh, licensing or enterprise licensing landscape with the OEMs, but what they still need to live up to? And then, based on that, we can define with them the journey um, on what the preferred end state would look like. Mm. Um, once we've done that, we can actually then say, okay, what's the migration steps in order to get there? What can we lift and shift? What do we need to refactor in order to get onto that environment? And then we hand it over into 
within BCX into those specific units, is it being Alibaba, AWS, or Azure for the actual migration to that environment. So yeah, we, we, we proud ourselves that we can be very agnostic and give a guys the best advice on their cloud journeys in order to ensure that they optimize um, the, the capabilities that, that the, the hyperscalers bring to the table. Wow. Okay. Well, I mean, uh, uh, it's it's wonderful to hear that you make that process so simple for your clients and that you've got such a wide offering. Well, we're looking to hearing uh, more about those offerings and uh, more about your infrastructure at BCX at the Cloud Conference on the 8th of June. Jan Bauer, thank you very much for joining us, Chief of Digital Platform Solutions at BCX, one of the proud sponsors of this year's Cloud Conference. Jan, always good to chat to you. Thanks for joining us. Thanks, Aki. It's a pleasure and see you on the 8th.